Hello and welcome to the 50 books you must read on SDG, the Sustainable Development Goal. The 17 goals that define what happened to this planet of ours and 2030 is a timeline. In the session one, we spoke about Netflix and SDG, we had some fun around movies and the shows from hit Haunting of the Hill House to more serious ones when they see us and then we did a lot of books on the goal number one which is no poverty. Today, I'm going to take you to a journey on goal number two, zero hunger. Well, you know, when you talk about books, it's such a powerful tool to change the way we look at the world around. So one of my book recommendations I've come across is, this is a child literature, but such a powerful book called One Hen. One Hen is a story of how one small loan can make a big difference. It's about that lump family in Ghana and a boy whose name is Kojo. He takes a small loan of a hen and it becomes a huge business. Is Muhammad Yunus of Grameen Bank listening? Well, he'll be very proud of this boy's achievement. The next one is a book called Chew on This. Again, it is a kid's guide to the world of fast food advertisement. You know, you see the ads of Pizza Hearts and KFCs and the junk food from McDonald's to Domino's and all of these foods that are becoming part of a child and a teenager's and grown-up's lifestyle, well, Chew On Us will tell you about it. In fact, if you want to do a documentary, there's a documentary on a person surviving on McDonald's for one entire month. And then he had a piece of the Big Mac and he kept the Big Mac for over a month outside. The... The bun should have rotten. There should have been green, you know, entire fungus around it. But at the end of the one month, that bun was hard as a plastic. Because that's what it's made up of. He gave the bun to his pet dog and it refused to eat it, believing that it's not food. So this is chew on this and this is what we love to talk about it. The next one is another book from the same author as one hand, Kathy Smith Alleyway. And she had written a book called The Good Garden. Now this is a story about a farming family in Honduras and the journey of having no food and growing their own food. So if you listen to a parallel session on Zero Hunger, you'll realize how this family has a good garden and they're picking up everything that you can think of. Moving from Zero Hunger, we go to something more and equally powerful, the goal number three called Good Health and Well-Being. Well, I'll just give you a few books I will recommend with one of my personal organization and the book I'm recommending on good health is called Doctors Without Borders. These are a group of volunteer, non-profit people who are in every area which requires doctor. It could be a war tone, it could be famine, it could be flood, it could be a hurricane, it could be some internal domestic problem, it could be food shortage, it could be outbreak of Ebola or malaria and these doctors are out there. Goal number three, good help, needs more help to this, more power to doctors without borders. And then a very, very popular book uh, by a favorite author of ours, Atul Gawadne. He writes on being mortal, medicine and what matters in the end. Atul has a way of connecting the real stories and transforming into magical world where you start understanding the life is but limited. Michael Jackson was once asked about his ranch called Neverland. What will he do after he dies? And he said, no, don't talk about death. I don't want to die. Being mortal addresses that very issue that one day you will and all of us must perish. What are we living for? What's the greater purpose in our life? And believe me, it will tell you things that you probably will stick and you will say, oh, I need to do much about it. The last slide and the last book I will recommend on goal number three, good health and well-being, is my favorite book. And forget my being, make it favorite. Bill Gates has recommended a book called When Breath Becomes Air by Paul Kalaniti. Now, Paul is a neuroscientist, or rather was a neuroscientist at Stanford. And being a neuroscientist and how he was himself diagnosed with a terminal illness about the cancer, he writes a powerful journey about what he went through. He, the, the very rooms he knew, the very consoling advice he gave to the patients now became his own. He embraced his mortality and this is it when every breath when you struggle for becomes a, a part of your living. It is a Pulitzer finalist. This book is a must read for you to understand what the world is when you struggle with good health. 
Believe me, one of the biggest blessings that we have been endowed with is good health. What are you doing about your health before you become weak, lazy, tired, perhaps on your deathbed? Talking about deathbed, this is a nurse called Bronnie Ware. She's revolutionized the way we think about death in a book of top five regrets of the dying. So this lady, Bronnie, has been working for years in the geriatric department. Geriatric, old age people in the nearing death, opposite of pediatric, the younger one. And as she met and met these people, the old ladies, the men, and she took care of them, she realized all of them had some common regrets. And among one regret was, I wish I could do what I wanted to do, not what others wanted me to do. Another one was, I wish I spent more time with my family and friends. Well, they are dying or perhaps they're dead, you aren't. So go back and change your lifestyle. Go back, stop eating the junk food from you and this. Stop growing your, start growing your own vegetable garden and live a life for your family, for yourself, not for others' perspective. The blueprint of your life is yours. And on that blueprint, this is what we're saying. Of course, it is not necessarily only about the, the, the medicine, but making it right is about making a zone conflict-free, a world without lawyers, journalists, doctors, judges, a world without crime and hunger, a world where we can take claim on. So these are some of the books I recommend for goal number two and goal number three. Readers are leaders. All the best. I'm Daoud Wai from Sky Education. Hope to see you again with my list of recommended books for the other goals. Thank you. Good luck. And Safiya, thank you for being a lovely audience. Can I have Safiya here and we give a round of applause to this lovely girl who's been learning SDG as my apprentice, please. Thank you. So let's boop, boop, boop. <laughs> Bye.